In this tutorial, we are in Adobe Audition. I'm going to show you how I apply a high pass filter, also referred to as rolling off the lows, you might hear, in Adobe Audition using the parametric equalizer. Let's go ahead. So first thing I'm going to do today is create a new audio file so we have something to work with. You can go to File, New Audio File, or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command N, which is what I usually do. I'm going to call this high pass just so we have something. Sample rate 44, 100, channel mono in bit depth is 32 bit float. That's how I record all of my podcasts. Okay, I'm ready to record here. If you don't see any levels, click Option I on in Audition to get the levels going. If you don't remember that shortcut, go to View, Metering. Meter Input Signal will get you the levels down below. Okay, to start a recording in Audition, we're going to click Shift Spacebar, and to stop, you just hit the spacebar. So let's go ahead, shift spacebar. Today I'm gonna to show you how to apply a high pass filter using the parametric equalizer inside of Adobe Audition. Spacebar to stop. So tip number one before we even get started, always record a little segment of blank room noise or your ambient noise. Whether I'm out on location making videos or in my studio recording my podcast, I always, I always record a sample of just blank, just silence. Don't say a word. Don't make any noises. Just record the room noise. It makes it that much easier to remove noise when you're using a noise reduction filter. All right, good habit to get into for if you're getting into audio. Now, let's go ahead and apply the high pass filter. I'm going to show you what this is. All a high pass filter is doing is removing the low frequencies from your recording. This could be a rumble from your refrigerator in the background, or maybe the AC from the distance is rumbling. You might not hear it or notice it, but your audio, your microphone is picking up these unwanted noises. And by removing it, all you're doing, you're not affecting the audio in a bad way. You're actually just making it a little bit cleaner and it adds to the clarity of your overall podcast. A lot of audio engineers and experts recommend doing this on everything every piece of audio. I do this on every single one of my podcast episodes. I put a high pass filter of 80 hertz, meaning everything below 80, I'm cutting off. Every frequency, the low frequencies below 80 hertz, I am just eliminating. And all it does is just removes the unwanted rumble and stuff that you might not notice if you weren't paying attention, but when it's gone, it just makes things feel f cleaner, okay? So let me show you how to do it. It is really easy to do. So we're just gonna go in here in the effects rack and go to filter and EQ parametric equalizer. This can be done on many equalizers, but I am using the parametric equalizer. All you have to do is click on this little button right here that says HP, which stands for high pass. I changed the gain to 48. It's just a little more extreme. It was defaulted at 24, which is more of a gradual slope. I'm gonna go a little bit more extreme, and that's really gonna be make sure that those noises don't get through to my podcast. And again, the a good rule of thumb is anything below 100 is safe. I usually go to 80, okay? I just like to be a little bit more moderate. Um, some people even go down to 60. It's sort of personal preference, but I find that 80 is working for me. So basically, I'm telling Audition to remove all the low rumble below 80 hertz, okay? And now we're gonna watch here. I'm gonna show you a visual of what happens here. I'm gonna go into the spectral display by pulling up here on this little button. You can see there's a little handle right there. Just pull up and that's a spectral display, which is kind of cool. If you don't see the spectral display, or if you don't remember that little handle, just click up here, this little button, and it'll get there as well. Okay, so we're looking down here. You can see here, this is the frequencies. 100 is right there. If I went back to the equalizer, this is 100 to this left. Everything on the left is low. Everything on the right is high. Everything in between is the mids. So this low down here is what we are removing. And on here, the 100 below, that is that left side of the equalizer. And the top is the right or the highs, okay? So look at, notice all this noise right here, okay? This was the blank noise in the beginning that I recorded. And you can see there's stuff in there too. So we wanna get rid of that. This is our 80 mark right there. So watch what happens when I apply the parametric EQ, gone. All of that noise is gone. I just removed that and it's not gonna affect How to apply my sound a at all. Using so it's gonna sound exactly equalizer. the same. It's actually just gonna sound a little bit better. Let me undo that again. You can see here, the high pass filter, it's a little confusing, I know. The high is removing the lows. <laughs> I had a hard time as well myself, but 
by applying the high pass filter using the parametric equalizer, I just go to 48 dB, I tell it what frequency, 80, hit apply, and there you go. That is a high pass filter that I use on every one of my podcast episodes using the parametric equalizer inside Adobe Audition. Cheers.